music, don't it? <laughs> yeah, gotta get it out the mud, that's the only way to win. Who am I to point the finger like I never ever seen? Been through the ups and downs like the letter in. They don't let you through the door, better kick it again. Cause that's the only way to win. That's the only way to go, gotta get it out the mud. Gotta get it out the flow. Cause that's the only way to go, let's go. Shoot. Lights out. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, on this Friday, September 8th, 2023. As I am here, the playmaker is here, and I'm doing shooting the last out, which means Team USA played their semifinal game against Germany today. We're going to get into it because it was a battle on both sides of the ball. The winner of this matchup would get Serbia in the finals, who defeated Canada earlier this morning, surprisingly, with the star stood that Team Canada had. Nevertheless, jump into it. It was the FIFA World Cup semifinal. Serbia was already in it. They just needed to wait to see who they're going to play next. Either Team USA or Germany in the finals on Sunday. These two teams met a few weeks ago in the exhibition game. Germany jumped out to a 16 point lead, but USA came back and was able to win it by eight in that one. Here's the rematch on this one and how to contest the game back and forth, whatnot. But in the end, ladies and gentlemen, Germany pulled it off. 113-111 over the United States. And it's the third quarter. As you can see, it was highlighted in the red box. The third quarter, Germany was able to open up a double-digit lead. They was able to go into the fourth quarter with a 10-point lead. And the United States had an uphill battle. But in the fourth quarter, as you can see, they fought their way back. They came into it, but a key turnover by Anthony Edwards in the late seconds of the game gave Germany what they needed to win. As you can see, the Germany stat line, three Germans scored 20-plus points. Frank Ratner with 22. Adrian Osby with 24. Daniel Tyes with 21. And then you have Mo Ratner and Theismann come off the bench and give you 10 points each. Balance scoring for Germany. They were relentless on the offensive end. They kept the pressure on the United States. The defense of the United States did not raise the level that it used to. Germany made it tough for them on the defensive side. As in the balance scoring, three-point shots, offensive rebounding, get into the lane, penetrating, kick out. Germany did whatever they wanted to do on the offensive end, and USA couldn't stop it. That's how they gave up 113 points. Plain and simple. For the United States, not as much dynamic as, as we are used to seeing. Austin Reed did come off the bench and gave you 22. Anthony Edwards gave you 23 and eight boards. But that second unit, we know we have Paulo Bancaro, Austin Reed, Titus Halliburton. Those guys, when they come in, they, they bring the energy. Germany was ready. Germany was ready because they did not give the United States open shots. They gave United, the United States made some tough shots, some tough three-point shots. They missed some layups. They struggled, but they fought their way back, but Germany was just there. You look at the team statistics, well, contest the game, I mean. Both teams shot close to 60% from the field. Both teams shot over 45, over 40% 40 from three. Both teams was hitting pretty much their free throws. But look at the offensive rebounding. Germany, 12 offensive rebounds. 12. They was getting second chance points, and they was making every last one of them count. United States couldn't, they couldn't stop them. They just couldn't. You know, and look at it. Third, they had 30 assists to only 10 turnovers. Talking about Germany here. 30 assists to 10 turnovers. When you are able to control the ball, move the ball around, no matter if it's FIBA, NBA, whatever kind of basketball you're playing, when you can have more than twice as many assists than turnovers, you're in prime position to win any type of basketball game there is. Germany did that. USA did the same thing. They had 26 assists. Only nine turnovers. 
It wasn't sloppy. It was good basketball. But in key moments, Germany made buckets. United States made mistakes. In key moments. Not throughout the whole game, but in key moments. And that last the third quarter that the United States had w- was really the big difference. Because when you come out here and you like a days ago and Germany drops 35 in the third quarter, you put yourself in a position to do everything you need to do in the fourth quarter to fight and battle and give yourself a chance to win, which the United States did, by the way. As you see, they only lost by two points. But nevertheless, you had to put so much into that fourth quarter that Germany continued to play the game that they played from start to finish. No rushing, no getting out of rhythm, nothing. There was nothing the United States could do to get them out of rhythm, to force turnovers, to get out and run. It was that type of game for the United States. It just that was. And Germany is on to the finals to face Serbia for the gold medal. The United States will be facing Canada early Sunday morning. I'm talking about 440, 4.40 a.m. here in the States on the East Coast. United States and Canada will be facing off on Sunday for a third for third place. But outside of that, there's really nothing much the United States can do. Do what they can to get bronze on Sunday morning. Get back here, get ready for the NBA season, then get ready for the for the Olympics. Cause next year, cause next summer's the Olympics. And it's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna be on this team for the Olympics. Cause Grant, I'm pretty sure Grant here and Steve Kerr, they're gonna put a hell of a team together for Paris. And it's gonna we're gonna see some superstars there. Cause now it's gonna be on. I'm looking forward to see what Canada looks like for Paris as well. Cause they have a lot of NBA stars that play that plays for Canada. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. But uh, unfortunately, the United States fell short of reaching the finals. They get beat by Germany in the semifinals. Germany moves on to face Serbia for the for the gold. United States and Canada will face off for the bronze. And that's it for FIBA World Cup 2023, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in to all the episodes that I have done to cover the uh, FIBA World Cup for the United States. Uh, next on the docket. We'll see what's next for Shooting Lights Up, but stay stay tuned. But this will do it. The Playmaker signing off. Catch you later. Good. You've done great. But you can't stop here. You can't stop now. You got to keep going. Through all your trials and your tribulations, you got to keep pushing. Now. Finish your camp. Yeah, gotta get it out the mud, that's the only way to win. Who am I to point the finger like I never ever seen? Been through the ups and downs like the letter in. They don't let you through the dope, better kick it again. Cause that's the only way to win. That's the only way to go. Gotta get it out the mud. Gotta get it out the flow. Cause that's the only way to go. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in today's episode. If you want to follow the podcast, you can follow it on all streaming platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and a whole lot more. This has been Shooting Lights Out. Masterpiece.